Alright, welcome back to more Pokemon Emerald at 1 in the morning, so I'm not gonna be very loud. Sorry. This is gonna be the ASMR episode. Um, Petalburg Woods. I did, I did Petalburg. So where the fuck do I go next? I, I guess I just surf. Surf on Sly Cooper for some reason. This little raccoon fella. Word of advice, word of advice for everyone here. If you're going, if you're going to the river, and you decide you want to swim in it, um, do not use a raccoon as a flotation device. I don't think it would appreciate that. I know if I was a raccoon, I'd be pissed if someone was trying to swim on me. I'd be like, homie, you're like four feet taller than me. What the fuck is your problem? Just gonna fast forward a bit. Oh, this guy really, really has no water moves, huh? Good water type. I'd be like, shit, man. All I want to do is dig in the trash. That is my existence as a raccoon. I exist to dig up trash. It is important to the operation. Tr digging up trash is all I know. That's all I know how to do. I, I see, like, this shitty, rotting apple, and I'm like, oh, I gotta have it. I really gotta have it. I'm a raccoon. This is what I live for. Don't swim on a raccoon. Just don't do it. We need, we need to quit it. With the raccoon surfing. The problem is, um, one of my plan team members is uh, a Spiel. This is a very late game Pokemon. They're, I ain't gonna have that guy for a long time. So, we're, we're, we're kind of stuck swimming on Sly Cooper. Loath as I am to swim on this poor creature of God. It's just, it's just not happening. Shit, I got two counters for fighting types. Kiwi's good counter for most. It's a good counter for brass, it's a good counter for bug, it's a good counter for fighting. So Kiwi kind of fills a niche that Anna doesn't. Anna just kind of is... I mean, Anna's strong as fuck. Psychic types are always strong as fuck, but... She doesn't really have a whole lot of types that she's super effective against. She's got, like, fighting and poison and... Is that about it? it just sounds about it. it. Sounds right. It makes sense to me. Kichi. Is that the little gremlin fuck from Danganronpa that people don't shut the fuck up about for some reason? If you don't know who I'm talking about, good for you. If you do, is that the guy? Is that, is that your man's, as the kids say? I don't know what the kids say anymore. I'm 18 and I've grown so old. I've grown so old to the needs of the children. I don't know what anybody wants anymore. These kids, what do they want? Would you like, would you like Mario Brothers 3? Boy, please don't fuck this up. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate you, Beefy Boy. Don't Rio. Beefy Boy, please just kill this guy one shot. Why would you use Pursuit if I'm in the middle of rolling out? It's not like I can escape, my dude. I'm pretty much trapped here. But the thing is... I'm not trapped in this room with you. You're trapped in this room with me. Shit, I, I shouldn't have done the double battle. I mean, the double battle will make it interesting, I guess. But is it worth it? Is it worth it? Haryama. I don't know what Haryama is wearing. 
It looks like... I don't even know. It's just so weird. Weird look, he's got like, flaps. When God was evolving these Pokemon to make them into new creatures, he decided, you know what, this one, this big beefy boy, I want him to have flaps. It's important. It is vital that this man has flaps. And so, Hariyama had flaps. So thank you, God. Speed boost. I got confused for a second. I was like, what do you want? How do you have speed boost? But it's actually Trace. Not Tracer, like the character from Overwatch, just Trace. You're much stronger than I imagined. And my strategy failed. I swear to god, if I hear fucking fireworks outside. It's 1.30 in the morning, if you're really putting- you're shooting fireworks that late into the night, I- I seriously don't- I- I hate you. I'm not gonna say you deserve to die, because that's taking it too far, but... It, it's so late. Like, why die? Just go to bed. Rich coming from me since I'm playing Pokemon at 1 in the morning, but, like, still, I feel like you shouldn't be shooting fireworks this late at night. I feel strongly about it. Strong enough to almost threaten violence, but I, I'm restraining myself because I need to be a better person. We ought to be the bigger person here. We can file a formal complaint, but we shouldn't. We shouldn't get rowdy. That's what I think. Don't take that too serious. Kadabra, please die. Get the fuck out of here. Man. Oh shit, beefy boy. Beefy boy. Leveling up. He's gonna evolve after this. There we go. Now this is what I'm talking about. Anna leveling up too? Nice. I guess that means the next evolution I gotta go for is, uh... Fucking... Gex's subtile. Oh yeah. Did I fast forward through this? I don't remember at this point. This playthrough's been going on for over a year. I really need to get it fucking done. Baron, Baron. You got any moves? No. I mean, that's fine. That de defense, though. Jesus. Guess I'll keep Gex in the front for a while. I wonder if I can get, get Gex to evolve soon. Especially with all the surfing and shit. Gex. I could evolve Gex before Winona, probably. Fun fact, when I was a really, really young kid, I had a crush on Winona, like, hardcore. She was, like, my favorite character for a bit. I was like, wow. I like a girl. For some reason, that almost re that also reminded me that when I was nine, I almost had a girlfriend online uh, on a forum. It's called Cheap Masters. I don't know where it is now. I don't know if that forum still exists. But there was this one girl. I don't remember her name because it was a long time ago. But 
She showed interest in dating me, even though I don't even think we talked that much. I think we had, like, one interaction on the forum, and then she was just like, you know what, we're both, like, babies, let's date. And I was like, well, okay. Okay. I'll look so cool at school when I have an online girlfriend. Um, I think the reason that we didn't date was that my older sister told me not to do it. Like, I was- I, I asked her for advice, like, hey, sh should I date uh, this person online? And then she was like, no. D literally don't do that, you fucking idiot. And I was like, okay. I won't do it then. Thanks for the input. So, I never, that never came through. I don't think... Probably wouldn't have lasted very long. I don't think there's a single universe that exists where I, I've dated this person for probably like eight years now. That That's not a thing that has happened. Sorry to say. Yeah, there's your there's your dating there's your online dating story. I've dated a lot of people. I'm I'm still dating. And I'm very happy right now. That's all you need to know. There's supposed to be a mystical rock around here. You know what they say about rocks? They rock. Ha ha. Hoo hoo. Ha ha. I meant to use Absorb. But I didn't. So if Gex ends up dying... I mean, this isn't a Nuzlocke, so he's not gonna die. He's just gonna faint. But... I'm one of those, I'm one of those Pokemon players that says die. Like, oh no, my guy's gonna die. When that's, that's not a thing. Death doesn't really happen much in Pokemon. Oh good. Dug a hole. It's so nice of you. Just so nice of you to just go in a hole. You know what you should do next? You should go in that hole and never come out. In fact, how is he using Dig while we're on this little island? How far could he really dig without hitting water? That's what I'm wondering. It's a very important question. Uh, no, I don't need to heal. Do I even have heals? One super potion. So I don't need. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I need it. This is my enthusiastic SpongeBob impression. Hope you enjoyed it. These two fucking jabronis. Is that Jose? Andres? It was more Jose. But I'm not sure that's how you would say that. So I'm not- I'm just gonna say Jose. Cause it's close to Jose. It's not quite. I mean, he's not a very- He doesn't look like a Jose, but he can be one if he wants. I'm not gonna stop him. Sometimes you just gotta let things be. Sometimes it's the best thing you can do. I'm not saying, like, lay down and die, but I'm just saying, you know, this world's a crazy place, and sometimes things just happen. Sometimes things just be like that. So you gotta accept it. You gotta just be like, okay, well, that's how it be. And I'm okay with that. Fucking another Sandshrew. How many Sandshrews does a guy need? That's something I'm just thinking about now, like, why do people need double, doubles of Pokemon in this universe, like, 
that's not a thing people do when they play Pokemon. Like, I've never met anyone who played Pokemon that used multiple of the same Pokemon in their party. I mean, it makes sense in the context of the game. It's like, fine balancing and stuff, but also it's just like, that's completely unrealistic. That would never happen. You can't tell me this guy who has a sand tree wouldn't also want, like, literally any other Pokemon. It's just not realistic. And you know, Pokemon is a very immersive game. It's, it's known for its realism. I mean, a game that has an electric mouse will, will have a, a lot of realism. Like, let's go over all the realist things. You got a, a, a living pile of sludge. We call that a New Yorker. Um, you've got a alien. That's what we call Area 51. So we're still we're still in the realism. They got fucking volcano Pokemon. Well, if you ever go to a place that has a volcano, you'll be able to know that's real. That really happened. So overall, I'd say Pokemon is pretty much the pinnacle of realistic children's media. You can watch like. Like, fuck it, Barney's not realistic. Barney's definitely not realistic, because it's got a dinosaur. Like, di dinosaurs died, okay? Okay, you, you're, not, you're not tricking the kids into thinking you're real, Barney. Whoever decided that Barney was a good mascot, they're wrong. Because Barney is a dinosaur. Dinosaurs, they're dead. So what kind of message are we sending to the kids when we say, "Hey, look at this! Look at this dinosaur character"? What will what will they they'll think? What will they think when they realize that their their icon Barney is based off of a dead animal? Though then again, I suppose Pokemon has the same problem because the Rowlet line is based off of an extinct owl species. So checkmate on myself. I guess I really am just the dumbass of the century. I've reported everyone in this thread, including myself. No one's making it out alive. If I if I have to drag myself, I'm dragging everyone with me. You're all coming down with me. I'm a lousy runner, but you can't catch me. Tentacle. Oh boy. Y'all remember that episode of Pokemon that got banned because of 9-11? I got the name wrong in my head for a second, because I was like, that was Tower of Terror, but no, that was the one where Ash dies. Which is another wild episode, but this one got... That got banned also because of 9-11. But... Uh, the, the one I'm thinking of that has, like, the giant tentacles and stuff got banned because the, he was just destroying the shit out of buildings and they were, in America was like, oh shit, we, our building just got destroyed. We can't show buildings be destroyed to children. I wonder if they were, like, it's tr Pokemon's training people to be terrorists, like, the people were saying Pokemon was training people to fucking be satanists. There's nothing more satanic than Pikachu. Pikachu is a known demon. That little bastard's been on TV for 20 years. So, there's definitely something sinister going on behind the scenes. All I'm saying is beware of him. Beware of Pikachu, beware of Ash. Beware of Donkey Kong, he's not even in Pokemon, but you should be aware of him anyways. Just take it easy to me, on me. I don't think so. I don't think it was very easy at all. You know, I just kind of laid down the smackdown on her. 
I don't know what that means, but if anyone can figure it out and decipher my own words for me, I'd appreciate it. Um, I mean, there's shit to do in Granite Cave, but I literally never have done it before. There's never been a point where I explored, like, a weird part of Granite Cave. It's a thing you can do, but I've never done it. I think I'm good on Pokemon for now. I'll do more Pokemon. I think I'm gonna start giving these titles as well to make them more eye-catching, you know? I'm sure people people will be like, wow, this one's called ASMR, so I gotta watch that one. So yeah, I'm done.